Welcome back everybody. Little Fish here and what a beautiful day it is outside. Blue sky, green grass. So beautiful in fact that I think I'm gonna do a little gardening. And by gardening I mean showing off this Guardians of the Galaxy Secret Tech Labs Grow and Glow Groot released by Uncle Milton. Of course, we will show off the packaging first. I'm going to just say that there is no plastic in the front, so you can easily touch what's inside the packaging. Kinda wish there was a little bit of plastic, but not so bad. So Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Secret Tech Labs, create your own Groot plant with real seeds inside. And not only does it have seeds, but Groot glows in the dark. This is meant for the ages of five up. Includes one Groot plant kit, and again, hazards because of the seeds, they could be a choking hazard. Same thing on this side, different picture of Groot. And on the back, Marvel Guardians of Galaxy Secret Tech Labs, create your own Groot plant with real sprout and vine seeds, then watch as Groot glows in the dark. Create your own Groot plant, real seeds inside. Includes one root plant base, one packet of seeds and beans, one soil tablet, one science learning poster, and one instruction manual. Released by Marvel and Uncle Milton. And Groot on this side. With Rocket. Grow and Glow Groot. So now that we've taken a look at the box, let's open it up and check our Glow and Grow Groot out. So the box is held closed by a piece of tape. I just cut that off, but I can open it up. There's a lot more tape to go, so I'm gonna just snip all that off and let's see if we can pull Groot out of the box. Actually, my mistake, as soon as I cut the tape off, I saw that you could just slide the box right out. Just gotta watch your hands. As I'm getting attacked by bugs out here. Oh no. Still have a little bit of packaging to take off. There is a wire or a piece of plastic keeping him in, but nothing else keeping the base in. And also inside the box, you get your soil tablet, the Wonder Soil, and you get your pack of beans and seeds. It's really nice. And you also get your science poster. So if you wanna read any of this, just pause the video and take a look. All about growing plants and regeneration. Very nice. And these are the instructions. So I'll look at those in a little bit. So I snipped the Groot out and he's actually kind of this bendable, kind of rubbery material. Having trouble getting him out of the box, turns out you can't take him out from the top, so you gotta take him out through the bottom, so that means a lot more tape to cut off. So just one more second. And our little Groot is free. So we will take a closer look at his detail. And I gotta say, this is a really nice sculpt. It really looks like the little Groot from the end of the movie. So he's got some green vines running up his body and his face. Got that happy little Groot smile. And this is the back of his head. And this is from the top, so there's nothing in the bottom of the container, because that's where you're gonna put all your seeds and the wonder soil just the bottom of the cup, so nothing in there. Just properties of Uncle Milton. So now that we've taken a closer look at our little Grootling, let's take a look at those instructions. So Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy, Secret Tech Labs, Grow and Glow Grouped. Again, for the ages above five. So, seed preparation. Soak the seeds and beans for 10, 10 hours? Oh, I guess we're gonna have to do quite a jump cut in this one, but soak the seeds and beans for 10 hours in cool tap water. In a separate container, add one ounce or 29 milliliters of water. Place soil tablet in the water and watch the disc expand. Wait for one minute. Slowly pour an additional four ounces on top of the soil tablet and watch the tablet continue to expand. Wait for one minute. After soil tablet has expanded, loosen soil growing mix with a fork or spoon. 
Prepare pot, fluff and place loosened soil into the pot approximately one inch or 2.5 centimeters from the top. And planting the seeds. We have a pole bean and sprouting wheat seeds. Sprouting seeds do not need to be covered. And six, plant care. So again, I probably should have looked into this a little bit more beforehand, so 10 hours. See you guys then. So while all of that sets up, I just want you guys to know that I did test out the glowing feature of Groot, and he really does glow. The only problem is my camera doesn't pick up anything in the dark, so I guess you guys are gonna have to take my word on it that Groot really does glow. Okay, welcome back everybody. I let the seeds soak overnight, so hopefully they are nice and moist. Next up, we have to work on the Wonder Soil. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to measure 29 milliliters or one ounce, but I have something kind of close. So the closest I have is 30 milliliters, so I just won't fill up the whole cup. I'll just dump that in there. Grab the Wonder Soil, and it just says place it in the water. For a minute, and it should expand. And you can already see that it is expanding. And one minute later, we have to pour four ounces on top of the soil as well. So we'll do that. It's alive, alive! And it definitely smells like soil. And our dirt so far. And then it says, after soil tablet has expanded, loosen soil growing mix with a fork or spoon. I'm going to be using a popsicle stick. And now we have a jar of dirt. Okay, so we have our dirt, our seeds, and our Groot planter. What we have to do now is fluff and place the loosened soil into the pot approximately 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters from the top. So we're gonna fluff the soil. Soil. It looks kind of like brownie mix. I measured out one inch. Still a little ways to go, so let's keep filling it. So that is the soil in our pot. I just tamped it down with my finger a little bit and it is super spongy. So now we can add the seeds. And it says for the pole beans to insert and bury one inch deep into soil mix. So I have my measuring stick. We'll bury it right now. And as for the sprouting wheat seeds, it says scatter seeds on the top surface of soil mix. Make sure to get them all the way around so they grow evenly. So I spread them out as evenly as I could get them. Next step is to add water until the soil is damp, but you cannot overwater it. So my seeds are watered. I think I may have put in a little too much, which they say don't do, but it's really hard to measure. There are no holes in the bottom of the pot, so excess water cannot drain out. So that is the last step in this process. The only other thing to do is care for your plant. When the soil turns light brown, add two to three ounces, 60 to 90 milliliters of water to the pot. Do not overwater. As the tendrils from the pole beans sprout, gently wrap them around Groot so that they will take hold to his trunk and arms. So that's pretty neat. I will make sure to post pictures of Groot's progress as time goes on on my Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you guys like this content, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And you can also follow me on Tumblr and Instagram. And until next time, everybody. So it has been a week since I planted all the seeds. <laughs> As you can see, we've got some blooming results here. Not really sure if I'm uh, supposed to trim any of this grass or what I'm supposed to do, but take a look at that. It only took a week and look at how tall the grass is. Still don't see any of those bean plants, but got plenty of this wheat grass. Pretty cool. So we are now at the 
well, roughly the two week mark, and things have changed. Still no bean plants, and it looks like all the grass is starting to die. I did give it a little trim, looks like I'm going to have to give it another one, and hopefully the plant life will live.